It's the Thomas Wesley Show. I got rice cooking in the microwave. Hey guys, we just finally went live. I'm feeling good. Um, today's the release date. What time is it now? Eight? <laughs> eight to eight ten? Eight fifteen. We're a little late. In 45 minutes, the album comes out. We're going to have a listening party and play basically everything you haven't heard and uh, call all the guests, all the features on the album. Um, and that's it. It's going to be a great party. If you're at home, hope you got your Western wear on. And uh, tonight is sponsored by Chipotle, Wrangler, and 1942. I couldn't ask for three better sponsors. I don't know how. I feel like I, that was a blessing. Completely blessing. So anyway, we're drinking margaritas tonight. And um, if, you're, if you're wondering, this album is called Thomas Wesley Volume 1 Snake Oil. It's the first time I've done a, a solo album. All right, I'm, I'm actually watching Twitch at the same time. Okay, listen. So the first time I've done a solo album ever I've done a lot of EPs on Mad Decent. I've done a lot of singles. I've produced records for a lot of people. And um, Ron Perry at Columbia, a good friend of mine, he invited me to work a record on Columbia. And I said, hey, let's do a country record. Probably one of the craziest ideas I've ever had. And he supported it. And uh, it started one year ago today. I played at Stagecoach. Me and Cam put out a record that, that afternoon. And... Um, it's been one year since then I've been working on the record, so here we are. Ten tracks later. You guys have heard probably four or five of the tracks. They're, all, they're already out. And uh, tonight we're going to have a little overview of some of my favorite artists because they put me on from day one and they believed in me and uh, all the singer-songwriters from Nashville that worked with me. So it's all about them tonight, and then we're going to have a little after party and play some awesome music after I go through the album with you guys. So let's get started. I got rice cooking in the microwave. All right, so, this is margarita. All right, there we go. <laughs> right. Should we bring our first guest in? All right. All right. Are you there, TR? Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you, man. How you doing? I'm doing good. I've never seen you with a cowboy hat on until tonight. I did this for you, man. <laughs> it's so funny. I did this for you. I had on my regular hat, but I decided to put on a cowboy hat for you. I love it, man. And uh, if it, people don't know, this is Thomas Rhett. Um, it's crazy. A lot of people in my world don't know who you are. Yeah. And uh, it's crazy to me because you are one of the biggest, actually one of the biggest male stars in America. People don't know this, but you have records on the radio nonstop. I've been to your shows. They're bigger than I've ever seen any other shows. They're bigger than, like, Drake concerts. You're doing these no, outdoor arenas. I mean, and you you have a DJ there, and you're rocking out. And, um, you know, Ryan Tedder put me on to you. And, by the way, Ryan Tedder wrote, we wrote a record together, the three of us, along with yeah. Young Thug, which is, I, I don't know how crazy, how much crazier it could be. It doesn't get any crazier than that. <laughs> and um, from day one, you were supporting the record. You were like, I love this idea. Yeah. And honestly, man, I've worked in this, I'm not really, in, you know, a part of the country scene, but I just love it, and I want to be part of it, and I'm working on music, and you from day one were one of the few people that was, like, ready to go, and um, I want to tell you that I, I, it's really a rare people that are doing it, and slowly people are, are into it, but you were the first one to be like, let's do this, and um, we worked on this record for a long time, man, to make it perfect. We did, man. I feel like it's, I feel like it's been, like, a year and a half in the making on this song. And uh, I feel like me, I mean, I could go back on our text thread, but I feel like there's been a million notes back and forth to each other yeah. on were the vocals right, was the mix right, you know, could, could we do anything different on production? And we, we spent a lot of time on this record, man, and I'm, I'm super I'm super happy about it. Yeah, it, it came out, and what a weird time. You know, we, we had plans on making a video, and I think we still can do it. We made a little video here in California, which I'm going to play tonight at 9 when it comes out. And um, you saw it. I know you, uh, you, you, you're into it. And, um, yeah, ma'am. It's a little, it's a, like a little, little, like little visualizer, so people can kind of feel the song. Because I feel like the song is so big and so unique, because it's sure. literally 
Thomas Rhett and Young Thug and Diplo. You can't even you can't even write that you know and make it up. You can't even make that up. So um, that's what music is, man. I mean, whether country pop, you know, EDM, whatever it is, like I I kind of feel like all music kind of blends together these days. And uh, I don't I've been I've been a huge fan of you for forever. And I, I remember actually I don't know if you remember this, but I met you at a uh, a Grammy party like maybe two years ago. And we, and we talked in the middle of like a hundred people in this room in New York. And, uh, and I remember that moment I was, we, we, we had talked and we were like, well, let's make some music together one day. That's right. And I, I do remember I'm that. I'm glad 20 is about to happen. So it, I, I do remember that moment because it was the only time the Grammys were in New York and we were at a party. Uh, I think it was in uh, Chinatown or something like a little after yeah. party there. And I do remember that. And I was thinking to myself, someone told me who you were. And you know, it's weird because the, it's weird, like country music and I think the national scene is like the last scene to kind of be still kind of like in its own bubble, right? I mean, you probably can agree with me. It's not a bad thing. It's just that the crossovers happen, and they've happened for years. Like, you know, you have Florida Georgia Line and Nelly, and you have like Pop yeah. and Dolly Parton has been back and forth a million times. Um, but it's it's unique because it's so big and powerful, and the, it's such a good vibe. When I go see your concerts, when I play Stagecoach, I'm like, man, I love the environment. I love the energy positivity and then when i met you and i went on your instagram page and i was like man this guy is a freaking awesome guy first of all and i knew your dad too you know before i knew who you That's were right. your dad used to have awesome videos you know on the country on the country countdown on cmt when i was little i used to watch him and um i actually hung out with your dad backstage when you were playing in uh canada but yeah. um that's right. We did say we were gonna make a record. I, I don't. I just remember that now, and we actually did it. <laughs> I was like, well, I, I said that to everybody, man. <laughs> and yeah, we actually, it's like, let's write sometime, and you, you know, you're never going to. Yeah, I, the hundred percent. I would literally. We, I did say that, and I, we actually did, bro. That's crazy. So, crazy um, man. They, I'm not Dude, gonna. I, I'm not gonna tease the record. I'm gonna play it a little later, so when people can see yeah. the whole thing uh, after nine. But, um, yeah, awesome, man. Dude, I'm pumped for it, man. This, we, I feel like we put so much work into this record. Like, it, it'd be one thing if it was just kind of a just a song that we were just kind of weren't excited about. But I feel like everybody on this team has been really excited about it, and we put a lot of work into making this thing great. And yeah. you, just, you killed this song, man. Yeah, and I, I patience, man. I love it. And I can't wait to come out and see you play again because I know when you were talking about backstage, you were like, I can't wait to put this song in my my shows. And um, we're gonna see it soon, man. We're gonna be out of this soon, maybe like. Yep. Early next year, whatever it is, I'll be there with you. The first show you do it, so. Well, dude, if Stagecoach actually happens, we got we got to play this crap. It's 100%, Stagecoach. 100%. Yep. We're going to find Young Thug somehow, and we're going to bring him to Stagecoach. <laughs> I, I still haven't even met the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Neither have I. All right, let's be honest. We're going to try to call Young Thug over the next hour, see if he FaceTimes me. He, he probably won't. Maybe we'll get lucky. Um, but you told me something funny. You said when I played you the verse he did, you were like, I don't know, man. Let me listen to it a couple of times. And then you said you played it for your, your, your father-in-law, right? Yeah, that's right. And he was like, I love this, man. Yeah, he this loved it, man. <laughs> I, we were at the farm when you sent me when you sent me that first mix of it. And uh, I was playing it for my family. And my family was like, dude, even even my wife to this day, my wife is a very, very critical person. And she was like, this is my favorite song you've ever you've ever recorded. That's awesome. Which, which, which says a lot. So I'm really excited for, for well, a lot of people to hear this. Well, honestly, we're, on, we're in uncharted territories. Cause I don't think it's a record that sounds like this. It, it, and the coolest thing about this record is it doesn't sound fake. Like, you can put no. the three of us on a record, and it's like an industry-made record, but this record is real, and you can feel it. We actually love the record, and it's awesome. So we're going to get to it in a minute. Um, I know you got your family at home. You're still, you're still, you have a new baby. So yeah, um, we, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you chill out. Good. Thank you're you. You're here in about 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, you got to go to bed soon. But I'm going to come to Tennessee soon. We're going to go fishing or hunting or something, man. Do it, man. I got the spots for you. We'll, we'll do it. All right, TR, Thomas Red guys, coming up, we're going to play our song. It's very special, so we're waiting until 9 p.m. to the release. So this is Thomas Red, Diplo, it's Young Thug, coming up in a little bit. All right, TR, I'll let you go. I got rice cooking in the microwave. Got all right, all right. That's good, that's good. Okay, we got another guest. We're going to start with a guest first. We're going to front load it. Um, all right. There's only one person on this record that has uh, writing on two songs. Actually, Henry does too. He's a, he's a, he's a guitar player, but his name is Orville Peck. 
Actually, let me play a little bit of something real quick. I'm, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Orville Peck video, a different one, one of his songs, real quick on here. You don't know he's one of my favorite songwriters that come out we share a label now that's very cool and uh, we wrote a song together on the album an intro but we also wrote together a record called on mine with Noah, Noah Cyrus so we're gonna play that video tonight after 9-2 and um, right now we got Orville Peck live on zoom here he is wow that's an awesome studio man where are you how are you doing? I'm good. I'm just sitting in West Hollywood. What's happening? Um, that's an awesome guitar. You got it plugged Thank in? Thank you very much. I like that vest, too. Thanks, man. I like your outfit, too. What shirt are you wearing? This is this is Bob Marley. I changed my shirt. Okay. I'm going to do a couple outfit changes tonight. Um, oh, like Cher? Yeah, I'm going to do, like, this is my first real show So as Thomas Wesley, so I'm going to do a couple dialogue, banter, then change the outfit, do some choreography, stuff like that. Yes, I love so, that. Keep it live. You got to do your famous move. Do you know you do that move with your feet? Oh, the little like feet thing. Can we get a uh -huh, close up my uh -huh. feet? Uh huh. Uh huh. But um, towards the end of this show, we're gonna do. I'm gonna stand on the table, and I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I believe it. I'm glad you noticed that, man. Honestly, I've been working really hard on that dance move, and I didn't know if people were paying attention. <laughs> Thank you, man. I mean, you you did it a lot. I noticed it. it oh, was it's great. the only it's thing I know how to like do. A, I don't it's know. like a little, it's like a little boot scoot. You know, it's like it's very nice. Boot, little boot scoot and boogie. So, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. are, you, are you a Brooks and Dunn fan? Oh, of course. Okay, I'm gonna play some of them later at the after party. Hell yeah! Give away some Chipotle. Um, should we? What do we want to do? You want to play the song and in, our intro or play something? <laughs> what are we gonna do? Should I play the well, video? I mean. Well, it's your big night. I'm so excited. I can't believe your album's finally here. It's I'm just happy out. that you, sh you you answered, man. I know you're so busy. I just, I'm happy that we're together, finally. Uh, I'm always happy to see you. And you know what? You're one of the only people on the record that I actually know in real life. <laughs> so, <laughs> mm -hmm. so it makes it even more special. I, I always joke I text you more than, like, you know, any of my friends. I mean, you are a friend. <laughs> I hope I'm a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Play something? Should I sing a little of the intro or what? Let's do the intro right now. That's perfect. I'm gonna play the actual video now because it sounds gonna better. <laughs> this is the intro to the album. There's no trouble in this town, but by God, I wish I'd find some. Sometimes in life what you want to do isn't necessarily what you're going to do. Yep. Yeah. 
everyone felt fast and hard around here. Like a with a hefty price tag. Let me tell you something, son. If there's gonna be a showdown, better not turn your back. Oh, and uh, don't forget to tip your queen. Like those boots. That's beautiful. That was shot on location in Joshua Tree. So it's like, uh, you know, it's like, a, it's like a Slim Whitman, like, campfire yeah. intro, you know, letting people know what they're getting into with your new album. I you, think get, you actually titled the album uh, by accident. Maybe you didn't know you were going to do that, but it just, I loved it. So. Oh, I, I love that. We're actually going to be giving away one of these shirts today, the jackets that Wrangler made. Oh, damn. Isn't this cool? Yeah, that's amazing. Along with 4 million burritos later, so stay tuned. I can't wait for the burritos. I'm going to call in and get my burrito. <laughs> I'll, I'll hold one for you. There's 4 million, so you should be able to get one. <laughs> Mail it to me. Yeah. I'm going to, um, all right, Orville Peck, everybody. It's lovely to see you, Wells. I love you. I'll see you soon. All right, the show's off to a good start, guys. Sounds good. You guys want to hear some music? What should we do? Cam? Let's go. I'll play the video. I'll play our song. Videos a promo for uh, Stagecoach. I'm acting. Look at how I act. I can see it in your eyes. You want somebody to hold The director, Brandon Dermer, said I was a really good actor. Drinking, you slip up and put your hands on me. Ain't your mama ever told Also, I have extensions in my hair right now. And I'm really drunk at this point with Guy Fieri. It doesn't make you free. I know you're fine doing life on your own. That's fake hair. Think it's time to give your heart, your heart what it wants. It's backstage and stage coach. I don't know in fact, New York Times said it's one of the best songs of last year. And Luke really likes it. Dwight Yoakam, guy. This is Dwight Yoakam in the video. Lil Nas X. Billy Ray Cyrus, good friend of mine. They have a club and stagecoach where you dance. It looks so cool. That was it. This outfit was really good. At this point, I'm so drunk. I have no idea how to DJ right now. I meant like at Stagecoach. All right. This 
video is yeah. a pretty good recap of, of, of Stagecoach and the vibes, and I really liked it. We had Sam Hunt there. Nice cameo. My hair flowing really well. The outfit. Sam Hunt, give me, he loves me, we're friends. I had a gold tooth back then. All right. And that's, this was the inception of the whole album right here. That hat was kind of whack. I didn't like the shape, but whatever. And now we have Cam live. Hey! How are you? Cheers. Happy got, album release. Thank you. You were the first record of the Thomas yeah. Wesley experience. That's right. I mean, for the record, I saw the potential and believed in this whole thing first. Yeah, you did. Everyone else is fucking bandwagger. So, you, you, bandwagoner. <laughs> Give me everyone. Give me everyone. It was me. It was Cam. And actually, you performed the song that weekend before anybody even heard it. You yeah. Did, yeah, I, I was there. I was like, so I was walking in the grounds, and I remember hearing it. Yeah, you were dancing. And I, ran, I know. And I ran to stage. I was like, oh, she's playing it. And, um, and then he came out with me and played it, too. So we hit him with yeah. the double whammy. Your version has a little bit more knock to it, I'd say. Yeah, you had a little band, but you had a little calm response. You were like getting the doing it. You had the yeah. crowd singing the violin part. I remember that. Yeah. Man, were you surprised too? I feel like Stagecoach, I was like, I knew California like country fans were going to get this music, but you never know. Like going out, you're like, yeah. okay, this is brand new. Were you like nervous going out on oh, that 100%. stage with all those people? And I'm, not, I'm not lying. I was, I was doing the video and I was hanging out with Guy Fieri and I was so, I was so drunk. Like he was giving me the mezcal and I was, yeah. I didn't know who I was by the time I got the stage. And then that adrenaline hit me and, um, I was rocking and it was awesome. And I didn't expect people because also we were the after party kind of, you know, it was like the, right. the festival was but it over. Was packed. It was packed. We had, we had more people than Leonard Skinner. We were like going crazy in there. Yeah. So, I, was, um, I mean, I was totally sober because no one knew, but I was pregnant at that point. I, yeah. I, 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 was, <laughs> I, I, I remember everything. I saw it all. Yeah. I realized because you had a baby just a couple months after that. And uh, it was, I remember I gave you a, a shout out and it was awesome. And um, you've been home. Yeah. You've, been, you've been a mommy for a little while. Yeah, it's been fun. We just got her to sleep. Yeah. So. Thomas Red had to go to bed because he has he has a couple kids and he had to put he had to go to bed too. So are you? Yeah. In are you Didn't in you Nashville? just have a baby too? Didn't you just I had see? a baby. Everybody's having babies. Congrats! Yeah. Yeah, I had a baby. I Thomas Red had a baby. I mean, a lot of love making that came around the album making. Maybe. It was what... stagecoach was a romantic place. Um, <laughs> but hey, are you in Nashville? Where are you at? I'm actually in California. I'm at my um, kind of family ranch in California. Are you from California? Yeah, I am. Can, can you explain to people like a little bit about you said California country? Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's yeah, it's um, I mean the whole state's super agricultural, and even people in the cities and on the beach, everybody listens to country music. Yeah. And every, people are like, "How do you even know about country music?" And I mean, you're welcome for Bakersfield Sound and yeah. Buck Owens and everything. Like we're a major staple of it all, but it's it's a little bit different. Like we got a blue barn out here with palm trees next to it. It's it's, it's like a the mix of uh, horse shit and like sea salt in the air. <laughs> There's like, a lot of horses. Country. There's a lot of horses and a lot of sea salt. And yep. I didn't really understand, grasp what California country meant till I was with Dwight Yoakam. And he is really into yes. that Bakersfield idea. And if anybody's listening on Twitch and they don't know about country music, there's so many different genres in it and so many different aspects from like classic rock all the way to new country to what we're doing, mm -hmm. to, you know, to rockabilly, to blues and California country happened around the 60s and it was an amazing sound and i feel like it's been around forever and it was got this you know dylan-esque vibe it's kind of like root, the roots in the in the in the in the folk music and yeah and it kind of mixed with like the okies that came over from yeah. the dust bowl and the great depression and they were trying to make people dance in those honky tonks just like you're trying to make people dance yeah. and it just it hyped people up and uh you you are continuing a great lineage 100 percent, and i thank you for being the first the first one to work with me on the record and uh oh yeah it's, we, thanks for inviting me what a cool song i remember hearing the beginning part of this song because you had written it it was um or it was with sam hunt too right yeah he he, he tried a verse version of it because my first foray into country music was working with him for a couple demos we tried a couple cool. things and um nothing really nothing really stuck and it was you know he had like two two years where he wasn't really working on new music so oh yeah he was figuring shit out, I think. Yeah. But whatever the reason, I'm so glad because I heard the half song and I was like, I love this because yeah. it 
it felt really, especially from a women's woman's perspective, like it felt kind of like raw and vulnerable, but also kind of hip. Yeah. And I was like, this is my, this is right up my alley. So we wrote that second verse and finished the song and it feels, I heard Thomas saying earlier, like it's one of the songs that I get the most compliments on, yeah. which it's a, that's a good feeling. I mean, I saw the show live and it was, people were like grooving to it and they didn't know the record. So I knew it was yeah. right when people didn't know it and they were already dancing. So that's so, the cool thing about California music fans too. They're showing up because they love country music and they don't have to know the songs. They're just so excited to be there, like for the artists and for the genre and having a good time. It's not the same you know, like, oh, play the hits. Yeah, <laughs> They're, 100%. like, ready to digest these. It stuff. It's almost like know? a jam band when you're out there because the band yeah. can go longer. And it's it's a lot diverse than you think it would be. You know, when I go out there, I was, like, I had more fun, honestly, at, at Coachella. I mean, at uh, Stagecoach, and I did at Coachella, and I was there for two weeks doing Coachella, Ooh. DJing, and then I went to Stagecoach, and I played that, that last set, and I was like, wow. That was the yeah. real energy. That was raw, and people were, it was something different. And, um and Little Nas X had just done the record. We came out with me, and it was like a new, it was a whole new wave. You God, know? that was so cool. So it's, you are. know, it's really important, too. I feel like the, I am I mean, not to get all heady about it, but, like, the the influence of, like, quote-unquote outsiders. Oops, are you there? <laughs> quote-unquote outsiders. I feel like people coming in to make sure people know country music isn't just this one little box. There's all this sound and it's representing all the experiences of like Americans and what they're having and what they're feeling. And like, they don't all got to look one way. And I feel like, yeah, you definitely stepped into that part of the stream. And that was like a big part of like loving the song, but also like loving what it represents, you know? Well, I hope it's just the first step. It's my first album doing this and I'm already working on a new record. So I'm going to come when I, when I get a chance in Nashville or where you are in California, we're going to work on something new. So I am so down. So let's get a yeehaw in the, in the Twitch chat for, for Cam, and uh, let's rock out Cheers one more time. Yeah, Cheers, go. buddy. She was number one. Congrats. Cheers. Everybody else is a bandwagoner. She's not lying. She was number one. That's right. She was the first one, so there we are. I'm saying. All right. <laughs> I'll let you go to bed, and um, I love you. Thank you for the, for the, for the attention, and, and thanks for working with me. Of course, 100%. man. Keep it up. Love having you in it. All right. I'll see you guys later. See ya. I'm going to play a song real quick. All right, I'm gonna play Heartless, or should I play the, the, that song, Lonely? All right, here we go. I'm gonna play this song real quick. Tumble out of bed and I stumble to the kitchen, pour myself a cup of ambition, and yawn and stretch and try to come to life. Jump in the shower and the blood starts pumping Out on the streets the traffic starts jumping With folks like me on the job from nine to five Working nine to five What a way to make a living Barely getting by It's all taking and no giving They just use your mind And they never give you credit It's enough to drive you Crazy and you let it Yes so that's it. We're going to play one of my records from the album real quick. You guys already heard it once. It came out. It's called Heartless. It's with Morgan Wallen and Julia Michaels. And um, this is the third single, but this record is about to go three times platinum. So it was a weird one. And, um, you know, it came out slowly and it's been out since September or October. And it just kept getting bigger. So. Shout out everybody that uh, streamed this record, plays this record, loves it, makes TikToks to it. It's um, It gave me an inspiration to finish the album. So this one right here, Julia Michaels, Morgan Wallen, Heartless. Remix. We got Julia Michaels on the show later. Say you're going out late. I count down till you call me. It's just one of those things that you do when you're lonely And you're all about the chase But you won't ever let me catch you And I wish it was the same But I know I'm gonna let you win again And when I do, it's gonna hurt like hell And you don't mean to, that's what I tell myself But why you gotta be so heartless? I know you think it's harmless You're tearing me apart 
This is the first time I met Morgan Wallen when we were in Atlantic City. He has an amazing uh, mullet, if you haven't noticed. That's the best scene right there. Big shout out to Julian Michaels for being on this record as well. But Morgan Wallen for doing it because, I mean, he took a chance on me too. A lot of people say this record is, uh, isn't is country anymore because of the drums. So country music doesn't play it, but you know what? It's all good. It got big anyway because people love the record. But continue with the album. After I put out Heartless, we put out a record with some friends of mine who are going to be special guests right now. They're called the Jonas Brothers. And, oh, there they are. There they are. Oh, oh here we go. All right. The Jonas Brothers. What's going on? We got, yes, thank you. We got Joe. Nick. Hello, hello. And of course, my favorite Jonas brother, Kevin. Yeah. Yes. And I'll tell you the truth. Whenever I put a picture of the Jonas Brothers on my Instagram, people are like, "Kevin, Kevin!" It's like seriously. There's like, the Kevin fan club is big, and I'm That's number strong. one. I'm number Jonas one member. Kevin fan base. He is for sure the best Jonas brother. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Nick, where'd you get that cowboy hat at? Uh, you know, I've got a collection of cowboy hats. Um, you probably shouldn't look in your closet because I may have stolen them from you, yeah. but it doesn't matter. I've it's got a, it's, them now. It's a good one, though. That's all that matters. Is this it's the first time you guys have been together in, uh, during the whole quarantine? Are you guys uh, socially distancing? This is like a, a, a Zoom call, brother call right now? We're, we're actually in, we're just in the same room. We're just pretending. <laughs> you're one of you in the living room? <laughs> Nick's in, <laughs> Nick's in the all, bathroom? We're, we're all over the U.S. Kevin's in New Jersey. Me and Nick are both in California, but we're in different parts. So That's awesome. As long as we haven't seen each other. Um, yeah, it's crazy. People don't know this, but uh, you know, me and uh, and Nick and Joe actually been friends for a long time. And uh, Brian Tedder hit me up one day and was like, "Hey, the Jonas Brothers want to come by and write a record with you." And I was in the middle of Malibu. We were just kind of chilling out, working on this music. And you guys all actually came. And it was a secret. You guys hadn't put out your single yet, but we had we wrote this record really early on. Really? And uh, it was like a big surprise because you you guys. This is before people thought you guys were going to come back together and be a band. And then I remember working. Yeah, I mean, honestly, what's what's insane is that you were the first session we did in this new era. And it, it you know, took a while for obviously Lonely to come out. But when it finally did, it felt like it was the perfect timing. And it was like, you know, for you and for us, we'd had that moment of getting to, you know, write with you, create with you and kind of determine what our sound would be. And we established that relationship with Brian as well, which became a crucial part of our process. Yeah. But honestly, you are to thank for yeah. the Jonas Brothers getting back <laughs> uh, Stop order. playing. But uh, I love that. If you, I'll take credit. <laughs> I'll take full credit for it. I'll take full credit. I'll take. I'll see you guys at the Grammys. I'll walk up with you guys yeah. as the good. fourth Joe uh, Bro. And um, yeah, we actually played the song in Vegas once, and I had a Jonas Brothers shirt on. 
That's true. It, it was a really good one. You guys have great merch. You guys really know how to do the merch. Like you do like the you vintage had merch. The old school mer you had some old school merch as you well. You had an old shirt. Yeah. I'm a fan. I'm a the fan. Vintage. What can I say? I've the been a fan feet. since day one. I was like 12, you yeah. know, <laughs> listening to Jones Brothers. Uh, you know, but, um, you know, Joe and Nick, we're buddies for a long time. And we actually never made music. We just hung out. And then uh, it's crazy. We, had, we sat down and made this song all like in two hours, wrapped it, and it was cut sat on it forever and this 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 first song was the kind of the inspiration to do the album honestly it was the wow. first record i finished it wasn't the first one i put out but I, we sat on it for a while many versions actually many different versions and nick played so me a version. many versions yeah, of this many song. versions and i remember nick you actually played played it you you hit me up uh, on your honeymoon or something you had you had a video you you playing it and you were like oh, yeah, filtering yeah. it and then you brought it back in my mind. I was like, man, this song is kind of dope. And so then I finished it. when After Nick sent me that video, I was like, I got to finish this record. And um, honestly, having you on the record is a big deal because the record's already got like almost 200 million streams. Uh, some applause. Crazy. Yeah. Woo! And of course, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I love you. Yes, it's Kevin. Mostly Kevin. And Kevin yeah. was, Kevin, were you in the video too, though? Were you in, the, in New I, York? I, I was in the video. I showed up at the very end of the video. Yeah, yeah I wasn't there for the writing session on this one. It was a, uh, it was nice though because you inspired me to immediately fly out to LA and not miss another writing session. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> you, you missed a good one because we had a nice, we had, we had some drinks out there. We were in Malibu. It was kind of chill, but um, that house, that house was amazing too. Yeah, I gotta get back in there. But we gotta, we gotta do some more writing. When this is over, yeah. let's do some more writing. After. Cause I finished the record and actually the record was kind of more EDM, like dance music kind of vibe. And I was like, I'm doing country now. And you guys were like, what are you talking about? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this country idea. And I flipped it and made it more guitar based. And, um, I shot a video randomly and when I was at a show and some, some rodeo and then we threw it together and it actually came out really well. So I'm really want to say thank you. I love you guys. And to get all three of you on a zoom chat is a big dude. deal. Congrats on the album. This is so thank exciting. You. Seriously. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you guys. The Jonas Brothers, everybody, make some noise. Thank you. Woo! I'm going to play the video real quick. I know the guys had to go, so I'm going to play the video one time. Here it is. Oh, I ruined his wedding. <laughs> you guys know how hard it is to be a producer and be the only person that shows up for every video? These guys showed up. Look at me. I don't know, but I look really stupid in all my videos. That's the funniest part where I said, hey, Kevin. To the world stand still, like there's no one else but us. I don't know, in fact, uh, Joe Jonas actually also a DJ and not a bad one. He's pretty good. That's it. My battery died in the end of the video. 
This outfit was pretty good. Look at this outfit. Uh, Akira, once again in my streams. Get out of here. Um, that outfit we made, it was supposed to, I was supposed to wear it at 4th of July. It was a Philadelphia 76ers Western outfit, but then I lost it. And we didn't, it didn't make it to the shoot, but whatever. We got it for that video, so one of a kind. All right, what time is it? Shout out FT Lonesome. I love them from Austin, Texas. I bring them up. I'm going to play some music now. You know what's funny? I'll play a record that didn't make my album. I just found this record. It's with Sam Hunt. And I'll tell you why I didn't make it, because it's called What Daddy Wants. So it was like a really weird title, but it's a cool record. I'll give you my favorite shirt So I can take my clothes off you I'll take you to the church I love Sam Hunt. He might, I might get in trouble for playing this. I'll take you to heaven too I'll make you feel it all I'll keep you up at night I'll always drive you home And I'm gonna drive you out My heart is on fire I need you like fireworks Need the night Ready for this part? Ready? And I know that I'll be everything Your daddy won't uh, uh. And I'll be a few things That he don't And I wanna do more than right your body I'm gonna love you baby like nobody rare rare song everything you that he want a few things that he don't few things that he we honestly could find a better title than what daddy wants because that was what we couldn't put it out I know you live to love you know I love to live right, I got one for you I know a heart like yours can be so hard and get I don't expect you to just lay it in my hand I know you're gonna make me take it like a man so I'll do it just right till you need me like fireworks need the night I'll be everything your daddy won't uh, uh. And I'll be a few I'm definitely in trouble for playing this record. He don't. You like it? Do you like it? Like it? Sorry. Right. I want to do more than rock your body. I'm gonna love you, baby, like nobody. I'll be everything you daddy he want. A few things that he don't. I got rice cooking in the microwave. Got a three day beard. I don't plan to ship. We got three minutes left. Goofy thing. Shout out Chipotle Wrangler. Hey, hey, I'm a doing all right. Travis Trick. Yeah, I think I'll make me some homemade soup. I'm feeling pretty good, and that's the truth. It's neither drink nor drug induced. No, I'm just doing all right. And it's a great day to be alive. I know the sun's still shining when I close my eyes. There's some hard times in the neighborhood. But why can't every day be just this good? Oh, yeah. It's been 15 years since I left home. Said good luck to every seed I'd sown. Give it my best and then I left it alone. I hope they're doing all right. Now I look in the mirror and what do I see? A long wolf there staring back at me. Long in the tooth, but harmless as can be. Lord, I guess he's doing all right. Cowboys ain't easy to love and they're harder to hold. That's right. They'd rather give you a song than diamonds or gold. Diamonds or gold. Long star belt buckles and old faded Levi's and each night begins a new day. If you don't understand him, he don't die young. He'll probably just ride away. Oh, yeah. Mamas, don't let your 
babies grow up to be cowboys Don't let them pick guitars or drive them old trucks Let them be doctors and lawyers and such Mama, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys Cause they never stay home and they're always alone Even with someone they love Like smoky old pool rooms and clear mountain mornings. Little warm puppies and children and girls of the night. Yeah, them that don't know him won't like him, and, and them that, that do sometimes won't know how to take it. He ain't wrong, he's just different, but his pride won't let him do things to make you think, think he's, he's right. right. Sturgill Simpson. It's going to be on the next record. It's going to be a big record. One of my favorite artists. And, uh, we'll see him soon. Right, the album's out. Oh no! We got a snake oil cake. Give this cake away to one of my people on Twitch. Let me get that jacket real quick. Let me get that. Let me get that jacket. We're giving this jacket away, everybody. One of one to somebody in the chat. What is the criteria? We don't know? All right, well, we're, I'm going to have a quiz in a little bit, and we're going to give it away. I'm going to give you a, a question about me, and we'll see who knows the answer. This is a one of one Wrangler Snake Oil Thomas Wesley jacket. All right. <laughs> So I think I'm going to give away one of these. Santa, my pay. Hey, hey, and I'm sick of it. I want to be a muse. One of one Don Julio snake oil limited edition right here. I'm going to drink it here. Hold on. Now's your time to go on the DSPs. Go listen to this album. It's out right now. You've heard Heartless. You've heard the song with Cam. You've heard do si with Blanco Brown. You've heard Lonely with Jonas Brothers. I'm going to play you the brand new single right here. Thomas Rhett, Young Thug, Diplo. I'm gonna love it. All right. Thomas Rhett, Young Thug, Diplo. 
It's called Dance With Me. You guys ready? Had another dream about you. These days, only thing I do. We've been standing in the same room. People talking, but I don't want to. So one ear and out the other. See you looking at me, but you with another. It was in one Hear him saying, Dance with me, dance with me. Play that song, that made me one, two, three. Come here close and give me your body. Let's take it so far, so far. There's nowhere left to go. Dance with me, dance with me. Play that song, that made me one, two, three. Come here close and give me your body. Let's take it so far, so far. There's nowhere left to go. Fucked up my able to on that one. Dance with me, dance with me. Play that song, that baby, one, two, three. Come here close and give me your body. Let's take it so far, so far. There's nowhere left to go. Dance with me, dance with me. Play that song, that baby, one, two, three. I saw this video three days ago. Give me your body. Let's take it so far, so far. This girl, I got to know. Strangers on the back of a bus Had a good time, had a heck of a rush Sometimes a memory is never enough It's never enough, it's never enough, no Started two strangers on the back of the bus Had a good time, had a heck of a rush this record with uh, Thomas Rhett Young Thug And of course, Ryan Tedder Never enough, it's never enough, no Dance with me, dance with me Play that song and baby, one, two, three Come here close and give me your body Let's take it so far, so far There's no way to go there okay if you guys like that song like and subscribe and um that was it that's the first single from the album and uh let's try to facetime young thug on my phone Here we go. Looks like we're not going to get them. Also, we got a really bad noise on here. All right, whatever. Listen. Both these, both these really sound bad. All right, anyway, whatever. Play another video for you guys. Maybe when I met you, there was peace unknown. I set out to get you with a fine tooth comb. I was soft inside. There was something going on. You do something to me that I can't explain. Hold me closer and I feel no.
of town That lonesome feeling comes to my door And the whole world turns blue There's a rundown bar across the railroad track I got a table for two way in the back Where I sit alone Think of losing you I spend most every night Beneath the light Of a neon moon Now if you lose your one and only There's always room here for the lonely Watch your broken dreams Dancing and out of the beach of a neon Superpowers rap 225,000 hours. Get a calculator, do the math. I made a thousand songs that made you move, yeah. About to debut another video. For the last 300 months, I made 16 albums with me on the front. And they bump. Where you get your beats? I heard 93 rappers say, like me. Two singers and 10 comedians. And I'm still gonna yell it every time you see me in. What's my favorite word? Why they gotta say it like short? You know they can't play on my court. Can't hang with the big dogs. Stay on the porch. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Shout out Max right here from Germany. Actually, Max has production credits on the album. On the real life stuff. Heartbreak. He has two production credits. Shout out Max. one other video. Let's go.
I'm really proud of my outfit in this video. Watch this dance. That rattlesnake was really on set. Freeze and catch the breeze. That was my voice in the end. I actually have a version of the song where I rapped on it, but um, we're not going to put that on there. But let's put our guest on. Blanco Brown. What it do? Yes. Yes, sir. I feel hey, like I man. might, you might be zooming with me like, this might be the fifth time we've done it. <laughs> since quarantine we did hey, that, you know we gotta stay busy we did that tiktok rave we did this one we did the other show a couple weeks back and yep. um if people don't know this is blanco brown from atlanta georgia uh amazing songwriter singer and also dancer i dance you see the video man amazing you see me dance yes sir you, i seen you hey i ain't know you had the moves you approve you been tucking them away I've been doing it, man. I did the do si do. Now you know. Now that you just start dancing, you got to dance every show now. <laughs> I will. The you know, thing is, when I drink these, like, margaritas, it's the dancing gets not as good every time. Every every margarita I do, the the, the <laughs> choreography gets a little looser. So I got to um, <laughs> I gotta practice that. But uh, where are you at? You, just, you in the studio? Yes, sir. All right, man. How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling great. I mean... Taking it one leg at a time. Bro, we did this video no super remotely, and it looks like we did it the same day. Yes. I'm talking about they edited that thing together, <laughs> and it came out great. I mean, thank you, Jesus, for having the blue skies both days. We had a – we had it literally, you weren't even with us. You were 100 miles away, 1,000 miles away, and we, we made At that video. At least 1,000 miles. So it's possible. It, it's possible. It's very possible. That should probably go down in the history of the first quarantine video. Like the first one that you don't really know it was done in quarantine. Yes. Because I did a video already that you obviously know is in quarantine. People are at home doing shit. But this is like one where we faked it pretty good. Uh, Sarah, my <laughs> dancer, I've been with her. She's been uh, with me like a couple weeks. So we were kind of like, I've, I've been with her like for a while. So we were okay together. The rest of the crew had the masks on. You were all the way in Atlanta. And uh, we made that, they made that video happen. And I'm happy, man crushed it indeed shout out to to, to the whole squad team caviar yeah. last minute saying okay bro we're gonna shoot let's go and get it done loading it up and the record jam how do you feel about being a de facto like country star this year having two big records out of nowhere like how do you feel man it feels amazing i mean my whole childhood i never dreamt of even being you know an artist it's like I was so shy and uncomfortable, and I stayed behind the scenes. Yeah. So when it all came about, it was like God's time. So, hey, purpose over everything. Singer, songwriter, first and foremost, I had you over here. We were at like two ideas in like two, three hours. Finish this record yep. real quick. So you're fast. I've seen it. We did this record together. Actually, people might not know this, but we did it back and forth. The record was the two of us rapping in the first time. Yes. And It um, was back and forth. <laughs> and I like that version. So you like yeah. Just yeah. have to re-release it again. One day, you know, my country voice is like that. Do, 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 do. I got that like I got that little country voice with the low G, <laughs> but uh, but I'm not ready yet. I need some more practice. I gotta be committed man, to it, man. Man, you gotta stop being so hard on yourself. I gotta You're commit. Rich. I just learned to dance now, so next thing I'm gonna do is learn to sing, and then uh, album two. We need you back in. We need you back in LA when we can get you, man. Let's get it. All right, Bl Indeed. Blanco Brown. Thanks Don't for making time, bro. We love you. Indeed. Love y'all too, man. You know, playing a harmonica. Yes. Oh, send me one of those, man. Send me that. Send me that. I, I got that. you. All right, y'all. Blanco Brown, make some noise. Make some noise. God. Love. All right, whatever. <laughs> now we're giving away this this uh, this jacket. Where's the name at? All right, let me see this jacket one more time. Where's the jacket at?
Put it up. Put it up. Watch my magic trick. Watch. Lift it up. This one-of-a-kind Wrangler jacket. Actually, we made like uh, uh, probably made like 100 of them. We gave it to people. Some people had this jacket, but one fan in the chat gets this jacket. I don't know how she won it. I don't know what the criteria was. I kind of want to see what it was, so it's fair. But her name is uh, Ariana Lupinacci. She won it. So we're going to sit you up right now. Hit us on the DM. This is your jacket, Akira. Wear it. Model that for us real quick. Everybody watch this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Do a little spin. The one-of-a-kind Wrangler Snake Oil Thomas Wesley jacket release day promo item. Crazy. All right. And that's it. Album's out. Let's, uh, I'll play some more music while I, while I get next. We got next guest? Oh, should we play the video? Oh, we got her. We got ready. We got ready. We're ready. Go. <laughs> Fucking play it, bro. Are you there? Noah Cyrus is here. Noah Cyrus is in the building. Where are you at? You're just out walking? You're going to, you're going to Whole Foods? Fuck, I'm in my backyard letting my dog go pee, actually. But yeah. let's fucking play it. Go That's a big-ass backyard. Bro, All right, actually, the album has two different Cyruses on it. We got a Noah and we got and a Billy Ray. Is And, like, bro, I was thinking about this the other day and talking to my manager. Like, that's something, like, on, like, some, like, deep shit that, like, like, really doesn't happen often to, like, be on the same album as, like, your dad. And that's, like, always kind of been, like, a dream of mine and like it's like cool that like Diplo provided <laughs> me and my dad to finally be on the same album but I don't know it's really your, funny your dad is such a legend and before even Old Town Road happened I happened to sit behind him on a flight from Las Vegas and I, I, I he knew who I was I was so surprised and I talked to him I vibed with him and you guys are best friends like, yo he I is just... such a fucking legend like cool guy bro he's so cool like Honestly, I'm so happy for him, his success recently, and having Dude, two awesome yeah. daughters, whole family. Your mom is super cool. I love you, bro. Yeah. My mom, okay, before you play this video, too, like, this video is just, like, the dopest because I feel like we, I honestly, it was like shooting it in my childhood bedroom if, like, yeah. I couldn't have said it better. You, you know, told me that stable way. was one of your one of your places oh, when you were little. Yeah, like, I've, I've been going to, like, that stable since I was fucking 10 years old till like, still going and riding and like i don't know like we did some dope shit that y'all will see in the video yeah. that i've been doing since i was like literally just a kid we're gonna like, we're gonna show this video right now and let me know we just we just shot this like a couple of days ago we shot everything recently and we're still editing it but we're gonna show you this version real quick and uh we'll have it out in a couple of days but this is the first right. version of the video and this is the debut of the song it just came out 20 yeah. minutes ago so <laughs> this is Noah Cyrus, Diplo, and of course Orville Peck here playing guitar on this record and helping me with this record. So, shout out Orville Peck and Noah Cyrus. I'm gonna play this right now, and I'm gonna get. I love you. I love you too, Noah. Let me get that the, the T-shirt that says "On Mine" upstairs because we have a shirt we made for this video. I'm gonna give that away too on the stream. The shirt was awesome. Maybe I'll give it to you. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on, hold on. Put me back in. We have a video. We're going to show the visualizer right now. I'll find the video. I'll play it for you guys in a second. Don't let this be the last, be the last Here we go. Love on, on my skin, keep it that way. Maybe it'll be being all say. Oh, can you see the attention limits? Oh, can you see it? Cause I really wanna know, you better. Wanna put your lips on my, on my, on my, on my, on oh, my. I want you to know each other. Wanna feel your skin on my, on my, on my. 
Noah Cyrus. Make some noise right now. Here's a shirt I right love here. You. That's the jacket you wore. Yeah, this is actually a Wrangler shirt. And shout out Wrangler for sponsoring the stream tonight. And uh, this is a vintage shirt. And we had it made up for the video just like that. Just like this. We love it. That's it. Uh, where, where was that video? Te technical. <laughs> yeah. I think that they don't want to show it because it's not edited properly. But we're going to show okay, it. Okay, so no video. Yeah. We actually lied to you. They gave me the video. They're like, here's the video. And it was just that visualizer. So I was, I'm glad you danced in your kitchen to it because otherwise it would have <laughs> been really boring. But, um, yeah, it's, it's turn. Uh, I love you. I love you too. Congratulations. And, and um, congratulations on the release. And of course, your album came out a couple week was it weeks ago or? Yeah, a couple yeah. weeks ago. And I love the album. I love the album. Actually, I love you. The, you know, your record with uh, Leon Bridges July was an inspiration for me for the project, and I loved it. And um, that's why I hit Thank you up because I was like, damn, she, she's rocking. I love you. She's rocking though. Yeah, and I feel like we've literally been saying we need to get a song done forever. Like, and we did it. I met you when I was sixteen. And now you're like what, seventeen? Yeah, now I've actually like gone backwards. <laughs> hey, I'm not twelve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we we've, we've known each other and I mean your family is always around. I know Miley for years. We actually had some, yeah, some sessions back in the day and uh your dad, your whole family. I got to meet your brother though and your other sister. And my other meet. yeah, it, there's a bunch of us. You got like there's 40 just, brothers and sisters. So one day we'll yeah, do a whole we're all over the place. We'll do a posse cut. Everywhere. We'll all rap different verses. All right. Yeah, everything. I love you. I love you. See you soon. Congratulations. Bye. Thank you. That's it. All right. We got it. We're doing good. Hold up. We're, we're going to play the next song. It's called, look it up, Real Life Stuff. Next song we're going to play right now is with Julia Michaels and Clever. And um, this is a really special record. One of the last ones I wrote. And um, it's only a visualizer. So I'm going to play it. And uh, we're going to call up Clever right now. He's going to be on the stream in a minute. But um, we'll play the song first. If you don't know Clever... He was on uh, Justin Bieber's last album with Post Malone. He signed with Post Malone. He's from Alabama, an amazing songwriter, singer. I love his voice. And um, I thought, like, let's do a little country hip-hop vibe with him. And so you guys ready for it? Let me know. Give me some yeehaws in the chat. All right. Should we talk to him real quick? All right, let's bring him up. Let's bring him up. Clever. Yo. How are you feeling, man? Hey, baby, look at me. You got the cowboy hat on, the bolo tie. Hey, bro, I'm like, I'm going in right now. Where, where are you right now? I'm in Alabama, baby. What city are you from? I want to know. From Gadsden. Gadsden. Is that close Gadsden. to? Is that close to Huntsville? That's small town USA, baby. Yeah, we're about a, uh, about an hour and a half from Huntsville. So you got the the rockets over there, huh? Like the NASA. Yeah, I'm actually going what tomorrow. Well, I'm going someday. I'm not going to tell you what day, <laughs> but I am going to go see the rockets. The rockets, soon. red glare. Um, cheers, man. Let me get let me uh, let me get my margarita up here for you. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. Cheers hey, to you. I know. I know. Um, it's not really a country record we did. It's more like I, I kind of want to say it is. It's got a country element to it. But um, yeah, I, I heard you for a while, and even before the 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 Justin record, I saw your record with NBA. Was it NBA Young Boy? You had a record with him. Uh, NLE Choppa. NLE Choppa. Bro, yeah. that record, that video was so crazy. And uh, uh, thank you. you had a couple of videos on Worldstar. And uh, I followed you. I was like, man, this guy's voice is insane. And I just kind of felt like we could flip it into a country thing, like a new thing. And you, I sent you the demo, and you were with it. You were with it. You were like, let's do this. So yeah, for sure. from the jump, I think well, that you, you were... You were perfect for the record because it's like a fusion of hip hop and, and country music and whatever, whatever goes. And I think you, um, thanks for being part of it. Well, yeah, thank you, thank you for having me on it. You know, I'm I'm as country as cornbread, so you know I may be country just by being on it. I think. So. Have you ever heard of a boy from Alabama called Jackie Chain? Yeah, of course, from Huntsville. <laughs> yeah, because I used to work with those guys, the PRGs, uh, on Mad Decent. Uh, That's they were they were they had uh, an album on my label, and they were all from they were all from Huntsville, and I remember. Yeah, that. yeah. I heard the name Jackie Chain in a long time dude but that's it was Jackie there's a, I'm trying to think of other Alabamas there's Dirty remember Dirty yeah Dirty yeah, yeah and dirty. then um, 8 MGG from Memphis but I remember just there's so much underrated music from Alabama that just doesn't get put on the and then the Yellow Wolf of course he's from Alabama right yeah nah fuck Yellow Wolf alright well whatever <laughs> Some, fair I enough say they have, 
You can say that for it. It's Twitch. Who cares? Oh. We're drinking. We're smoking. We're out here. Oh, I'm on Twitch. You know, I'm like a Fortnite god. So oh. low key. Oh, what? Give me your give me your username, bro. What's your Epic yeah. Gaming? So I just changed mine. Right now it's um, burritos near me. Oh, that's perfect. Cause Chipotle's sponsoring the, the whole stream. Wow! Oh, Throw your set so. burritos in this bitch. So it's just like burrito space near space me, right. bro. So everybody on the chat, add him. <laughs> he fucked up. Okay, so then I'm gonna add him too. Eric, add him. All right, Eric, come here real quick. Everybody, give get some, get some, show my Eric. Come here. This is the guy who ghost plays for me in Fortnite right here. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty bad, but we play. And look at him, he's countryed out today. We got Eric out here. Congratulations, Eric. Look at the jacket. Hold on. The Florida manatee jacket with a brown hat. I love it. Hey, can I play the record we did? Are you talking to me? Yeah, can I play the record? Play it like three times back to back. I will. Get the streams up, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add you right now. We're gonna play later tonight if you're if you're online, okay? Yeah, let's do it. Make some noise for Clev, everybody, right now. Woo! Woo! I wanna do that real life stuff with you. Turn everything around and fall in love with you. You got me feeling different when it comes to you. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, no why. I wanna do that real life stuff with you. Sure. Julia Michaels on this too. You got me feeling different when it comes to you. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, no why. Talk to my friends and let them tell you. Was running around just like a man. Loki, this might be the sleeper hit on the record. I love the vibe. I love Julian Michaels. I love Clever. I love putting like new artists on the on the map right here. If you guys like this song in the like chat, song. let me get some e haws in the chat. All right, let's put me back in. All right, here we are. I got a new hat. All right, so the album came out 30 minutes ago. How you guys feel about it? Give me some noise. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. All right, so, um, should we play the song then and talk to these guys in a minute? Let's do it. All right. Load up the next, load up the next video. It's called 
Next song is called Hometown. It's with Zach Brown and Danielle Bradbury. And um, this, this is a big song. I'm glad you guys can hear it first right here. Thomas Wesley's show. Hit that play button. Let me take you to my hometown, show you who I was. Everything you don't have, everything it does. Let me show you where I'm from. Cause it made me who I become. Let me take you to my first house. It was red then, but it's painted white. First house with best friends every Friday night. Who said I spoke on? She said I wrecked on. Left at a church bells and Mexican restaurants. We pump gas before we pay for it. And some back road ain't got no name for it. Headlights shine until forever. Promise you gon' know me better. Let me take you to my hometown, show you who I was. Everything you don't have, everything it does. Let me show you where I'm from. Cause it made me who I become. Let me take you to my hometown, show you who I was. So shout out King Henry to produce this one with me right here. Yes. If you like this song, I want you guys to... Uh, Love the chat with something the color blue or burrito. Take to my hometown, show you who I was. Everything it don't have, everything it does. Let me show you where I'm from. Cause it made me who I become. Let me take you to my hometown, show you who I was. Everything it don't have, everything it does. Let me show you where I'm from. If you're in the chat, this song is called Hometown. The last one was called Real Life Stuff. It's all on the album. You can go listen to it right now on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Pandora, whatever. It's all on YouTube, too, I'm sure. So that's it. Hometown. Can we get the uh, the, the the features in the Zoom? There we are. I'm in there, too. Hi. What's happening? Do it. <laughs> Hey, this is weird because we never met in real life. Well, me and Zach did, but <laughs> it was like we, we this song was kind of created th- via email and via like, you know, just kind of like connections and friends. And this is the first time I've ever met Dan- Daniela Bradbury. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, me and Zach, me and Zach go back a while. He's a he's a party animal. We, we hung out a couple of times. He's a legend. And um, I thank you guys for coming here. Thanks for being part of the Zoom chat. Oh, thanks, thanks for asking us, man. We're I'm a fan too. It's nice to meet you, Danielle. Yeah, uh, me too. <laughs> I, I love, the t- love the tune, loved your voice on it. I thought it was uh it was great. I've been trying to do something with Diplo for a long time, trying to um 
I've I fell in love with uh, Jack U. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of how we got to know each other through Sonny. And um, well, I think we first first time we we hung out. Man, it seemed like a long long time ago, but um, but I'm I'm a fan. I love yeah. I love it all. It was New Orleans. It was New Orleans. It was New Orleans, bro. You came out and uh, came to Voodoo Fest and hung out with that's us. Right. That's right. And uh, man, that was an awesome show. We hung out. You showed me. You, you introduced me to your knife collection and your knife company, and I gave you some drinks. And we had a good time that night in New Orleans. So if you don't know, this is Zach Brown, one of the most amazing. Uh, you know, I want. I don't know if you, I would call you country, really, but you're in that world. You you know, like me, you're a satellite in that world, kind of like existing and doing big shows and having good vibes and you know been a fan since day one and um thank you for 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 cutting this record with me man and of course daniela as well thank you so much oh, thank you for letting me be a part of it now let me tell you guys this record um has been buzzing on my album and the label really really likes this record now they're like yo this is the record you know so yeah there's a feeling you know and i just think um me and zach went back and forth on the on the on the versions and the and the production and um in the end you trusted me and i appreciate that man so yeah it, it, it's it, the, the things anything that i was like feeling like was missing is there now it's just different than it was the first time so yeah i'm i'm stoked about it and i mean that's why we're doing it i'm not gonna tell you how to do your thing it, it definitely makes me feel some kind of way now i feel yeah. like it's 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 right it feels great <clears throat> i think people are gonna love it yeah i think you know when it comes to production um a lot of times I make demos and you know with Jack U especially when we produce records me and Sonny we went from like we go from like the weirdest demos to like 45 versions later where it sounds so yeah. different and unique and this was like that you heard both you both you and Daniela heard like really early versions and you guys stuck with me and I'm actually Daniela I met you at the end of the day when you were recording the song here in, in, uh, in LA yeah it was really quick it yeah. was really quick Br I was really with briefly Henry. you got shorter yeah. hair yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm letting it grow up. Yeah, because Henry Henry King, who uh, King Henry wrote this record with me, and also um, uh, uh, Sasha Sloan, and um, so it was the five of us wrote this record, and uh, it was really special. And I'm glad you guys are down, and 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 it's crazy to meet everybody on a Zoom chat. I feel like we're like students at a at a homeschool right now. <laughs> right there. But uh, this record is special because I think it brought a lot of people together. Um, that don't know each other and i think everybody who was part of it uh you know is different in the country scene and you know i'm glad to just i'm glad i'm just glad people gave me a chance so zach and danielle thank you so much oh thank yeah. you i'm a huge fan yeah and so so when you sent me the demo the first round of the song there was a drop in it that i fell in love with so if you still got that drop sitting around you want to send remix. that to me on it Send that to me on a loop and let me let me make something else with it because I love yeah, that too. We made a crazier version earlier, and I just it didn't fit. If you hear the whole album, you're gonna hear it now and feel like, oh, I get it now. You, you, if you no, go I, I totally to it, get it, but I still think I, I love that drop. It's, I'm gonna it's make so you a VIP. We call it, you know, we call it a VIP, <laughs> and I'm gonna make it for you, and I'm gonna rock it out of my show. It's gonna be like heavy because I know you wanted that heavy shit, bro. I seen you. No, at it's it's awesome. <laughs> I, I love it. I love all of it. I seen you at the festival when we were playing, and you were like, you were you rocked out, man. Because I've seen your shows, and I know that after your show you have parties, and um, you you you're another level with the live shows, man. You have your band, and then you have like parties every time, and you really use the crazy lights in those arenas you play, and the venues you play. The outdoor are so huge, and you know how to like use every piece of that venue for the full potential. So we're gonna do a show when this is over together, the three of us, and rock out. <laughs> for sure when it, when the world gets back to um yeah. when it gets back to you know rubbing elbows and you know spitting on each other and singing and screaming yeah. into the air and everything i think that's going to be like you know really emotional you know the first time that that gets to happen again you know? and hopefully we can uh we can do this as stagecoach if that happens in, uh, in october but um let me ask you guys where where is your hometown where's your actual hometowns at uh delonica georgia it's a little mountain town and the Mexican restaurant, like I can still, I can see it. I can see the gas pumps. Like, yeah. you know, you walk in and you say, Hey to your homie. And now I go back there and my homies that I went to school with, they're working at the gas station, you know, yeah. and they were cooking at the biscuit place that like always made biscuits for school, you know, like before I class you run around, people be slinging biscuits for five bucks and stuff like that. So the, the lyrical content of this song is very much uh Dahlonega. And, and I think, that I see that in the, the second one, isn't it first downs every Friday night? It's talking about yeah. being at a football game. 
Yeah. So I played football 11 years. So, you know, I think the lyric video had that one word um, wrong. I think it said first house again instead of first, first down. down. So it was I definitely first, first downs. Go. I'm going to fix that. That's a dope. Yeah, who's that's getting a dope. Fired? Who's, who's in charge of lyric videos? Yeah. Was it you? <laughs> Jacob? Jacob, you're fired again. I thought I let you go like a week ago, bro. What are you doing? And today, he put my sushi in the refrigerator. You're gone. You're done, bro. Get out of here. Get, actually, pack up. Get out of here. All right, we'll fix that, Zach. Sorry, Zach. Daniela, where are you, where are you from? No, I'm from Cypress, Texas. So the football, the Friday Night Lights thing is like a real deal. So I, I, I too, related to the song big time. That's the real Friday Night Lights, actually. That's where it's from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I grew up in Hendersonville, Tennessee um, in high school, and I remember like working at Shoney's, and every like every small town is going to have the Mexican restaurant in the oh, gas station that's, that feels like the main street, you know, small town. So this record is special, and it's different because, you know, we did it together, and it's like a different style of production and different attitudes. So, mm-hmm. yeah, love you guys. And I mean, and you're, Danielle, you killed it. And Zach, Thank from day you. one, I'm so glad we finally got a record together, and that's the beginning of many more, I hope. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. Much, much love. And uh, I'm proud of you. This is a cool project, man. I can't wait to hear the rest of it. There's some of it I hadn't heard yet. So. Yeah. Well, go home. Well, right now, I want you to stream it like maybe five <laughs> times in a row. Put it on loop on your Spotify account okay. and whatever. I will. Thank you. Get those streams up for me. All right. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. All right. Bye. All right. That's that's we almost did every song on the album. I think. Let me see this run of show. I didn't even look at this the whole time. Ben Burgess we got, because that's the last song on the album. Is he ready? I'm going to play the record. We got one more record on the album. Ah! I'm going to play this next one. Ben Burgess. Picture this all down the block Bars all closed at 8 o'clock Cause don't nobody need to drown no pain Every song on that jukebox Be part of town, tie for the pop There be no blue eyes crying in the rain Oh now baby, wouldn't that be a shame Girl, I know we couldn't work this out I guess what goes up, it must come down Us. Bartenders, they be out of luck If couples like us never did break up If all the cars were aces Nah, no, there wouldn't be no Vegas And we both know that wouldn't be no fun Girl, I know we couldn't work this out I guess what goes up, it must come down Cheers to you and me for keeping Friday neon nights alive and well. This is the way it's supposed to be. Oh, at least that's what I'm trying to tell myself. I never saw this video. I know we couldn't work this so right out. now. That was it. Yes. Ben Burgess, are you clapping? Bro, that's me, baby. Hey. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. That is a smash, bro. You loved it. Hey, man. How are you doing? What have you – bro. Bro, I'm on top of the world, bro. First release, bro, on a major, bro. This is everything to me, Dip. I want to thank you, bro. We're brothers. 
Hey, Bobby man. Brown, our brother, baby. I love you. Thanks for sending oh the record God. over. I, that's true. You've been songwriting for a long time, uh, right? And this is the first time you're on a record, your voice, right? Let's go. Ah, yeah. Ah. Give me some air horns. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hey, hey, grind till you shine. Grind till you shine. Dip. Look, shout out ATX. Shout out East Dallas. Uh, shout out Greenlight Social. Shout out 615. Big loud. Oh my God, bro. This, <laughs> is this not a massive record, bro? Am I bro, I, I'm, I'm not. I think it's crazy? big. But what's big is your shirt, bro. It's so fire. What is that shirt? Bro, dippy. Bro, yeah. Let me see it, this. Bro. With the swizz, swizzly swirlies. Bro, do you see this fucking crazy Look third eye shit going on right oh here? Oh my God, bro. What are you third doing? Eye? You're hurting oh. this stream right now. Oh, bro, man. The, the, this the drippy drip drips. Is, this is barbecue. Crazy. It's crazy. Like, bar, it's like barbecue sauce. Sweet. It's Ooh, so it stains you and it, it doesn't ever leave, bro. Bro, congratulations, it. dude. Hey, this thank is a you. Huge release, bro. You're changing the game right now. I, I don't know if is... I'm doing all that, but I'm just putting out good music and you know good people. The album's crazy. Your brother Morgan Wallace on the album too. I know you worked with bro, him. Bro, shout out Momo. Momo. No, That's what you call him. That's here. the nickname, Momo. Uh, That's Mo. That's Momo. Momo. Mo Wallies. He couldn't talk tonight. He was in. He's he's busy week for him. So he's we could. Busy boy, man, I, I can't get a hold of him. You I know don't know where he's, he's at. He's, he's on a tour, hang out, Kid Rock. All right, listen, he's Momo, Momo, Momo. What's good, bro? Dude, the record sounds so bro, good. Bro, I never bro. met you till right now. It's crazy. Bro, I think do we just become best friends? Bro? We're best friends. Come over. Let's get in the hot tub. I do. I'll be there in two seconds. All right, come on. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Open the oh. door. Right. No, hey. nah, I'm gonna rent an RV and drive out to uh, Joshua Tree, bro. I, you know, I got I got the paperwork, bro. I got the boomers. Bro. Got, you need know. paperwork Come to go on, to Joshua man. Tree? Hey. Oh yeah. I just know. Actually, I shot basically every video in Joshua Tree. It's the most country thing we can do in California. So, and shout out Orville Peck. He was he. I think he's in Joshua Tree right now. I don't know where he's at. He's out in there in Joshua Tree, uh, chilling out. Y'all live out there to me. It's like, beautiful in my out mind, there. Y'all are out there. We love it, man. So hey, I, you're you, I've never you, been, bro. You closed the album. You closed the whole project right now. Shouts out no. you. Let me get an air horn. Uh, uh, hey, there we go. I love it. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, I haven't been able to sleep for like eight days because of it. <laughs> man, that's, you must be tired. Hey, listen. Uh, I love you, uh, man. And uh, let's get, let's come up. Come on. Bring that RV up here. Let's shoot this video. I've shot every damn video by myself. Hey. It's, getting, it's getting boring. It's getting hey, boring. Hey, let's go. And, All right, uh, look, let's shoot for next month. Let's shoot for next month. I'll just show up, bro. I'll, I'll find the first cactus I see in Joshua Tree. Find the first cactus. Let's appear. fucking do it, man. Let's shoot it. All right. I'll see you later, man. Like, congratulations. Bro, release day. Peace, love. Congratulations. Y'all stream this shit, man. Yeah. Give it up for Dip. Boy. Put it up. Woo! Woo! Yeah. 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 Peace, love. Peace, love. Yeah. Wow. That's my new favorite artist. That guy is crazy. Yeah. Uh, all right, we got a we got a message from Morgan Wallen right now. Let's get into it. Man, thank you. Message from Momo. What's going on, Diplo? Or should I say, Thomas Wesley? Man, I just wanted to send a video and say congratulations on your album dropping. Man, I think it's uh, awesome that you're doing country music. We uh, appreciate you bringing your listeners, your fans, into a genre that I love so much. I appreciate you asking me to be on on Heartless. Uh, really, when I was not just first starting out, but kinda. Um, it's really it's really helped me personally, and I'm glad it's become a hit the way it has. I mean, I appreciate you. I appreciate your friendship, and uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you soon and hopefully doing something together in the future. But uh, for now, man, enjoy this enjoy this moment. And I'm sure the album's going to be badass. Take care, brother. Yeah. All right. I just want to say one thing real quick. Uh, this is kind of a cool album because everybody part of it. I've just seen Ben Burgess, who seems to be the the, the, the craziest person on the record. Uh, clever. <laughs> Morgan Wallen, who, you know, we never thought we would have a hit with this record, but we did. Um, and Thomas Rhett, Young Thug, taking everybody who took a chance on me of course Oval Peck who actually one of the people who inspired me to finish this record and make it awesome because there's so much to offer in this genre um, 
I wouldn't even say it's country per se, but just something different that's leaning that way, and we're influenced by that. So um, that's amazing. We got one more guest. We're going to bring Julia Michaels in the chat. She's on two songs on the album, and she's so beautiful. And uh, we wrote a lot of records together. We didn't just write this record. We wrote together Real Life Stuff, which I begged you to add, help me add on the record, and I, I think it's an amazing record. And you jumped on Heartless for me, which helped us on the radio. And we've written, you've been over my house like 40 times, and you're just one of the most amazing voices, and I love you. Oh, I love you too. And you moved, to, Na- and you moved to Nashville. I love, I love your backdrop here. So. This is my ranch. I just bought it, and um, I got my horse. <laughs> what, what animal is back there? That's a horse. Oh, nice. From here, it looks like a camel. Is it a camel? Can we get rid of it? <laughs> no. Can we add another horse in front, Jacob? Let's put another horse over here <laughs> and uh, find one. You better, Jacob, you already got fired twice. So if you don't come with a horse right now, you're literally, I'm s- deporting you. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. So, Julia, you're the last guest on here. Mm. And, Thanks um, for having me. Are you, are you in California or are you in, are you in Tennessee? I am currently in California. Yes. You feeling good? Um, you know, I think each day is different, but for the most part, I'm hanging in there. Do you, are How you, are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm been doing like the promo for this album and stuff, but do you, do you actually, I know that you're such an avid songwriter. Do you actually write records right now during quarantine? I don't feel, I don't feel the inspiration to be writing songs, you know? I don't either. And honestly, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on myself to do it. I've tried the zoom thing and it fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't think if you're like in the studio and you're writing like a song about love, whatever it is, it just doesn't feel you like. You gotta be in the room together. Yeah, you gotta be in the room, and you gotta be. We gotta be in a in a mood that just is about creating content and being a, a human being. And it just right now it feels a little weird, you know. It doesn't. Not for what we do, at least. It's 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 good. People can be creative right now, but it just feels like. Yeah. I, don't know. I think different. when the time comes and everyone's ready, there's going to be just a wave of so much creativity yeah. and just so so many cool, beautiful ideas. Well, we're starting it off right now with this yeah, we uh, are. Thomas Wesley album, and I'm going to play the Heartless remix again, I think, because yeah. it's beautiful. It's amazing. You shot the video. We're gonna, actually, we'll play the video. Do you have the video here? There, should give me the video? Heartless remix? Because Julia Michaels, where would you shoot the video at with Morgan? We shot the video in Nashville. So you f- it was the first time I ever met Morgan. And How cool awesome. is that guy? I love him. He's so much He's fun. Such Actually, a vibe. I have really, a really funny moment. We were shooting our last shot, and I, I think they call like one of the last shots when you're filming a, a martini shot. And I made it a, made a comment while we were driving around in the Bronco. I said, well, I'm more of a tequila girl. And he goes, you like tequila? I got tequila in my trailer. <laughs> and he pulls the Bronco around to his trailer. He goes, hold on one second. And we're filming. He goes, hold on. Gets out of his trailer, goes into his bus, comes out, grabs 19, no, like a, a little bottle of like Don Julio. Still filming. We we pull the Bronco back around and they're like, all right, we're done. He goes, want a drink? <laughs> yeah. He's so real. And I think that it comes out in the record and... You know, I saw him at his concert, and he told me from the beginning, he's like, I'm not really a country singer. I'm like classic rock. And he was playing, like, St. John in his trailer and talking about records, and it just felt like he's different. You know, and I think that's what's cool about the album is everybody on the album is just different, doing something different. And we kind of come together. Maybe country is the is a, we're leaning that way. but I know, And, of course, you, you're so versatile. You know, everything from, from issues to the records we've written together to this. Like, you've done – You've done everything to pop music. You know, you, if you don't know, you wrote Sorry for Justin Bieber, which is a huge record. We, you know, and I think that you're just able to do everything. So, right. And I love, the thing I love about this album is it's just so much blending of, of just artistic, you know, differences, just different genres and, you know, just done in a really cool way. You know, that's, that's your gift. You know, you're, you I make things that just feel so special and really yeah. cool. Thank you for thank you for being part of it, and um, I'm gonna end the set with uh, with your with your video, and uh, we're gonna go to the after party right now. You ready to party? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Say you're going out late. 
I count down till you call me. It's just one of those things that you do when you're lonely and you're all about the chase. But you won't ever let me catch you. And I wish it was the same. But I know I'm gonna let you win again. And when I do, it's gonna hurt like hell. And you don't mean to. That's what I told my. But why you gotta be so heartless? I know you think it's harmless. You're tearing me apart. And She's about to raid the after party right now. And I get the DJ, so. So heartless. Why you gotta be so in between loving me and leaving, leaving? Oh, oh, oh yeah. I should probably know the shit by now, but no. Yes, that's it. Thank you, thank you, Akira. Thank you, Akira. Um, that's it for the show, and uh, we're about to raid the chat right now. We're gonna move into Chipotle chat world, and uh, if you're on the stream, move with us over there. No disrespect for Paul Devereaux, but we're about to give away four million burritos. And I'm going to DJ the craziest country set of all time. So we're going to raid the chat. You ready? We're going to raid this chat. Stay with us. We're raiding the chat. Jacob is going to do one last thing before I let him go. And we're going to have a good old party. Give me some yeehaws in the chat. Oh, there's the horse. We've been waiting all night for the horse. Here he is. The ho- I call him Thunder. He's right here. If you're not going to raid the chat with us, go to the Chipotle Twitch channel right now. We're going to go with the after party. Beach guy is going to be there. It's going to be crazy. We're going to add a Zoom. Can we add a Zoom? The Zoom's already started. You put it on my Twitter, my Instagram. We're going to add a Zoom. We will add the Zoom. So, move to the Chipotle chat. You rating? All right, so I start playing the Chipotle chat, or we have to move it? But we it's on uh, Madison, where we at? How do I? All right, I'm going to go ahead and loop this up. I was t- I was t- Now we're going to party. T- Woo! I was t- I was to 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 
I was to I was to I was to I was to I was to I was to I was to I was to 